Whew. Hey there guys, another every damn day installment for you. So today's workout is what I would simply call one of my foundation workouts, uh, simply because we're using a variety of different movements. Um, a fair bit of around the hinge hip, so the bending over today. So we chose to do a buy-in and a buy-out. The whole idea is to elevate our heart rate so that we're then ready to get onto the other weighted and body weight activities. So the way the workout started, this is for time. I simply need you to pick a weight for the weighted stuff that is not going to significantly tax you, but still force you to be a nice second or two every rep. Um, and as obviously as you get deeper into the reps, you will want to slow down my challenge to try to keep a consistent pace. So the buy-in of the workout today was a thousand meters on the ski. Again, if you're doing this at home and you don't have access to some of this equipment, we'll give you some options. So if you don't have access to the ski, so a thousand meters in the ski at a two minute split, actually that's two minutes per 500. So the way that the concept two works out your pacing, then it's four minutes. So if that's the case then, I need you to skip for four minutes. Option two, if you've got access to a roller, you've got access to a bike, again, a bit of resistance on the bike, but I basically want you to spin. I don't want you to bounce. So if you've ever been to a spin class, you see people spinning really, really hard, but you can actually see their bums bounce off the seat. That's not right. There needs to be enough resistance so that there is still a downward force on your drive. Okay, so four minutes if that's the case then, on that there, or four minutes of skipping, hot idea is to elevate the heart rate. Four minutes for me, it's my thousand meters. When you come off the remainder of the workout, other than the buyout at the end, which is back onto the equipment, and again, another 500 meters, the rest of the workout is what we call chipper style. So chipper, meaning to chip away, meaning there are a series of activities in sequential order. You must complete the first one and the full reps before you move on. You cannot break it up. So. I went with the power bag and I went with 50 reps on the power bag. So what I did is I did a clean and a press, then I went into a clean. So that was one rep of each. So I just simply counted my clean as my second rep and therefore I did 25. So there's 50 movements, 25 clean and press, 25 just clean from what we call the hang position or just above the knee. I didn't go down and touch the floor. We're going to do that later. After that, we went on to 40 reps of what we call a walkthrough. So those guys who are familiar with um, familiar with jiu-jitsu, MMA, basically it's the movement where you're sitting down with your feet in front of you and you're gonna skip back to stand up. In this case, we're starting in the backwards position. We're gonna sit through one foot to the front, back to center into a bulldog. So like a kick sit, for those who've seen me do kick sits where we go side to side, or a sit through, some of the other gyms call it, this is basically where they stole it from, but this is a forward leg movement. The leg must come out extended into the front. Uh, go to the Instagram, you'll see a couple of posts where I've actually done them, and if you go to Instagram and you search up the walkthrough, you'll find it. So 50 power bags, 40 of the walkthrough. I then went on to 30 with my dead bull, I was using it for a pillow. That's a 30 kilo, basically 30, cleans and over the shoulder and you'll see in the video I'm actually pushing my hand up so that way then the ball goes directly over not like you've seen lately a lot of the CrossFit athletes picking up a heavy ball but literally throwing it over the side I want it straight over your shoulder so that way you have to stand up and drive through throw it to the side for me personally I think you put too much of your body into the wrong position particularly with a heavy weight so therefore I want you to clean up to here and I want you to use the second hand Put my other hand up and I want you to push it through and extend my shoulder so the thing rolls off through the back. So 30 of those. I then went on to 20 body drops. Burpees will work the same, body drop for me. Sprawl for those who've got a fight background. Simply get down, chest, hips to the floor, stand up. I don't care about clapping. I don't care about bringing my feet together. It's just get down fully to the floor, stand up. You could also replace that with a walkout. You could also replace it with an inchworm. You could also just do a walkout to a push-up, whatever the variety, but basically we're hinging here, we're getting down, and we're exploding up. And then the final move, dumbbells. Uh, again, devil's press. If you have not seen a devil's press, it's basically a burpee with the dumbbells in your hand. So 
down to the floor, dumbbells here, chest hips to the floor. As I stand up, I am snatching the dumbbells. And most people will actually use it, you'll actually see them like a kettlebell swing. So we're gonna swing the dumbbells and we're gonna extend above the head. So pick a weight that you can do that. If you can't get the full one movement, I want you to do a clean and a press that will also work for the workout. So again, chipper style, just to recap. This took me about 22 minutes uh, in give or take some photos and some video going along. 1,000 meter ski, 50 movements on the bag. Don't have a bag, get a barbell, don't have a barbell, use some dumbbells, use some clean from the dumbbells, be creative. 50 under that, 40 on the walkthrough, 30 on the ball cleans, 20 body drops, and 10 on the devil's press. Last thing, jumping back onto the machine, for a 500 meter sprint to get it in under two minutes. That's me, that's my every damn day. We've also been out for a wander with this group today. That's the reason why they're a bit puffed. That's it guys, like anything, I know there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment now, given certain viruses going around. My two cents worth for what it is worth at all. Guys, you've got to stay healthy. The people who are unfortunate, who are getting ill and getting the severe conditions, generally are people who are a bit low on the immune system. Again, I'm not an expert, so consult your medical practitioners, listen to the proper advice, the proper science. But you need to build up your immune system. You need to stay healthy. You've got to move. You've got to get off your ass and move. It's basically the three steps that we have in our program for our dads about becoming heroes of your tribe. If you are a smoker, if you are a boozer, if you are, excuse me, just a lazy ass son of a bitch, then this virus is gonna come and it's going to hunt you down. If your immune system is not high, if you're not energetic, if you're lethargic and you couldn't give a shit, then maybe there's a blessing in disguise here. Maybe it'll force you to rethink all the shit that you haven't been doing and start doing it. If you're a dad, start today. Get the kids, put your shit down, put your cigarette down, put your beer down. I know it's Sunday. Go for a walk for half an hour with your kids. Talk to them. Yeah, it's raining. Who gives a shit? That's water. Get off your ass. Look after yourself. Become a little bit healthier every damn day. And if you need some help, I'm here. I'm here to help. There's plenty of other people out there to help. But guys, don't get caught literally with your pants down around your ankles. That's it, I'm Dom. That's Maya. Kira's just walked in. That's our every damn day installment for Sunday.